Senator John McCain returned today to Capitol Hill, where he'd spent more than 35 years of his life. Mourners continue tonight to file past his casket, placed on the catafalque built a century and a half ago for Abraham Lincoln. Here's Nancy Cordes. The heavens opened up just as John McCain scaled the steps of the U.S. Capitol for the last time. We give thanks for the consequential life of Senator John McCain, a drum major for courage, truth, and justice. The rare honor of lying in state was extended by the leaders of both parties, who worked and tangled with the dogged six-term senator for decades. I don't know what the deal was, but we'll find out what the deal was. Now, airing our great debates is a gentle way to describe how John approached the work of a senator. General, please don't insult my intelligence. I've long joked that his guards at the Hanoi Hilton probably needed group therapy after John was finished with them. Enraged one moment, irreverent the next. Senator from Idaho, Wyoming, uh, be included. They all run together. Out there. Um, <laughs> McCain will be remembered here for the compromises he hammered out on immigration, campaign finance, and foreign policy. On a day like this, John would usually be bounding this way or that way, right through here, visitors turning to each other, asking if that's who they think it is. McCain inherited that energy from his 106-year-old mother, Roberta. Outside, the sun appeared, and so did thousands of people who said goodbye with a salute, a tear, a prayer, or just silence. And the public is still filing through at this hour. Even after the doors close, McCain will remain in the rotunda overnight, watched over by a military honor guard. And as he requested, his motorcade will pause tomorrow at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial en route to the National Cathedral. John. Nancy Cordes for us at the Capitol. Our CBS News Live coverage of the service begins tomorrow at 7 a.m. Eastern on CBS This Morning Saturday.